Hi everybody, welcome to the Chronic Military Collector channel. Today I'd like to share two American items from my collection. Um, they're pretty unique in my opinion, and they didn't cost very much, but I think they were well worth uh, the price I paid for them. This first item is an American blood shit, spelled uh, C-H-I-T, and basically what this is, is it's a piece of cloth that American servicemen, mostly uh, pilots, would sew into their uniform and if they were ever shot down over enemy territory they could come up to any local nationals and show this document to them which does have a serial number to it um, so, th so they are uh, accounted for and you could show it to the local national and it's going to show um, in their language um, the message, which is, I'm an American, I do not speak your language. Misfortune forces me to seek your assistance in obtaining food, shelter, and protection. Please take, take me to someone who will provide for my safety and see that I am returned to my people. I will do my best to see that no harm comes to you. My government will reward you. So, it's a pretty you know, ominous message just saying, please help me. <laughs> uh, but it gives it in Persian, Turkish, Italian, Finnish, Serbo-Croatian, German, French, Swedish, Arabic, Greek, Polish, English, and Russian. And so I imagine this, this would cover about anywhere, uh, during the Cold War, which, uh, or during Vietnam. This particular one is dated uh, 1951. So it's a pretty early one. And and still in uh, pretty good shape. It, you know, thankfully it never had to be used. Um, the next item is a Vietnam era Green Beret. And it, this is a really special item to me just because I have so much respect uh, for special forces, especially the guys that served in Vietnam and the uh, and this particular one is a fifth uh, special forces group, and they were uh, they they fought a lot of a lot of important battles in Vietnam. So nothing but respect. And this particular one is what's known as a PX version, and you can see on the inside here it's uh, even got the tag. Still has the size tag also, but I'm not gonna mess around with it. The actual emblem I did have to replace with a modern one, but the patch is original. And and the beret itself is original. So anyways I hope you enjoyed seeing these two items and thanks for watching.